What's up guys, this is Jimmy Foe, the African Superstar. You may notice a change of scenery behind me, that's because I landed in Ghana last night. Long live the African Superstar. Happy birthday to me. There's the Ghanaian flag. Um, and I'm here at my hotel in East Lake Gone. Um, always happy to be in Ghana but today's subject matter is animal is always stronger in their natural habitat um, I tell you guys often I like to parallel life and human experiences with nature and I find that some of the areas that we struggle in the West um, a lot of those challenges are el immediately eliminated when we find ourselves in our natural habitat if you guys follow my channel, you know I had previously discussed going to Tokyo this year for my birthday. Um, and I kind of had an epiphany a couple months ago that I didn't want to be in that environment for my birthday. I wanted to be uh, among my peers, with my friends, and in a warm environment. And um, so I chose at that time to return to Ghana again. I always uh, come here and I, I love it. It's a beautiful country with friendly people. Um, and immediately I begin to feel so much better and in a bent, better mental state. So I'm not going to take long with this video um, because I just pretty much wanted to encourage you guys, those of you that have not got familiar with Africa that long to make that connection, um, those of you that are currently strategizing how to reconnect to the continent and so on and so forth, you know, my only advice to you is um, to do as I do, which is frequent the motherland, uh, make those necessary connections, you know, try to get your footing because an animal is always stronger in their natural habitat than they're going to be anywhere else. You know, other animals, for instance, you know, in the wild, once they get beyond their natural habitat, they're, a lot of them die, become extinct. They're not able to survive in different terrains. And I think a lot of the challenges that we deal with being in, in the diaspora has to do with that. It has to do with the fact that we are not in our homeland. Uh, we are not in our communities. We're not among our peers. And we struggle. We struggle to matriculate in that environment in a way that our brothers and sisters in the continent do not uh, struggle. So this is my first video from Ghana. Um, I want to thank you guys from the African Superstar platform. Um, Dinah, search for who wrote Woda, Maya. I've already received um, text messages from Dinah and Woda uh, since I've been here. Um, so, you know, big shout outs to everyone supporting the African Superstar, growing the platform, contributing. You know, I mentioned to you guys I had upcoming trips to Africa. I still have other upcoming trips. So I really do appreciate any donations you make on my PayPal. Um, all the information is below. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook, so make sure that you connect with your girl, you know what I mean? Um, I hope to connect with so many people while I'm here in Ghana. Um, I'll spend some time here in Accra and I'm going down to Kumasi. So, um, you know, that's, that's the first initial um, video. Shout outs to T. Kelly and Barbara Sutton, who knew ahead of time. <laughs> also, Osman, who is in uh, Kumasi, which I'm hoping to see him when I get there. Um, thank you guys for keeping the information on the low. Um, I just decided to go ahead and reveal it because, you know, I do want to give some people the opportunity to connect with me, and, and it's hard if they're unaware if I'm here. So, until we meet again, stay black and true. If you ain't black, just stay true.